taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. This crypto lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Zen Crypto, which I haven't spoken about for a while. And the price has been pumping. I am accumulating Zen. Okay, guys, it's no longer enough just to have free mints, in my opinion. It's trending number one on Dex Tools at the moment. And I'm glad that I'm holding some liquid Zen as well. Not that I intend to sell it. But um, yeah, we can pick up a lot of tokens for very cheap in comparison to the price where it was when we were first minting this token. Okay, guys, you can see it has come down a lot all right guys and i think that the bottom is in for zen potentially it looks like the bottom's in volume is coming in this is on a bunch of exchanges it's trending number one on dex tools once again okay guys there's many uh pairs of this okay there's it's on many blockchains all right guys but specifically we're looking at the ethereum version of this token although they are pumping around the board but ultimately this will be the main pairing that I'm accumulating personally, right? And um, there's many reasons why I want to be accumulating Zen, All right, guys? Of course, if you've been following the channel, you know that I've talked about how bullish I am on Zen. Okay, guys, in the long term, the founder who was number, uh, you know, he was a number, let's just be clear. He was number, um, or the first Google backend architect. I can't remember what number he was, maybe like number two employee or something like that. Or in the top 10 okay um but yeah that's one of the reasons the founder knows what he's doing he's very good at marketing i will say that and um you know he's got this just trending uh over 250,000 holders at the time of recording this video and so on it's probably a lot more than that right now as well but um yeah zen is being burned at a very increasing rate you've got nfts which is causing uh, zen to be burned you've got uh, the ecosystem, which is growing, they, they've got a layer one called X1. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to have its own blockchain, smart contracts, and so on. You've got things like this, like DB Zen. Okay, you have to actually burn Zen in order to get this token. This also is on a bunch of chains, and this is pumping. I mean, the token's pumping, very low in liquidity, very degen as well. The only way to obtain it is to burn Zen, and um, you know. You, you can sell it. I, I think you can buy it as well. But the main way to get it is to burn Zen and earn DBs. And you can stake your DB Zen as well and earn more tokens. You've also got X Enlon Mars. Um, if you think Doge Elon Mars, X Enlon Mars. Okay, so this is a another token which you then have to burn the DB Zen in order to earn the X Lon tokens. Okay, so that's another. Um, just addition to the ecosystem, okay, guys. And one thing that has to be said is that if you are building on, or or building anything that integrates Zen or helps or supports Zen, it looks like Jack Levin is tweeting about the projects, okay, guys. So for you developers out there, developing on Arbitrum and all these types of blockchains, I mean, even Pulse Chain, right? Um, people have plans to list on Pulse Chain. In fact, let's look at this tweet. Um, if we go back. There's a tweet from Richard Hartz here saying, uh, saying that uh, I'm sorry for saying V3 will be the final testnet. I really thought it would be. I prefer the safer and more secure public testing of what will become mainnet instead of testing in production. I choose security over rushing. I like bragging about 100% uptime and flawless ops. Okay, so obviously uh, we did get a teaser saying that Pulse, Pulse Chain could launch at any time. It doesn't look like, um, it looks like he's going he's to have to retract that statement. Okay, so... Post chain is probably going to take a little bit longer to launch, unfortunately, for all of us who sacrificed. And what are the chances of Richard Hart tweeting about your project if you build on Post chain? Of course, I'm super bullish on Post chain and Post X, but let's face it, Richard Hart's probably not going to tweet about your project. If you're building a project that's integrating Zen right now, there's a high probability, while it's early, that Jack Levin is going to see it, he's going to look at it, and he could potentially tweet about it just like he did with Zenlon Mars or Exelon, Exelon Mars and uh, DB Zen. Okay, guys, I'm sure they've got no affiliation with Jack Levin or anything like that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, these are speculative plays at the end of the day. Um, but, you know, one, thing's that, uh, one thing has to be said is that uh, they do provide bullishness for us that are holding Zen because you have to burn Zen. 
in order to get hold of these tokens. So, you know, I think that the Zen ecosystem has a lot of potential. Uh, there's a bunch of dApps, for example, like Zen Turbo, right? Zen Turbo, which is the update, uh, the upgrade from, um, what's it called? Uh, it's at the bottom. Um, Crypto Cell. Okay, guys. So, Zen Turbo, you got all these types of dApps, right, guys? People are building around Zen. Um, it's just, yeah, I think it's going to be huge. Okay, guys. This has changed. In fact, this wasn't on here before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah, I mean, you got all these bullish dApps coming out. You've got the Zen Monitor where you can check out, check your mints and so on. Um, I was just checking my mints. I noticed that my mints have grown. Okay, guys, they've grown by about 50% the amount of Zen that I'm expecting to receive from my mints. I remember it was one amount. It's actually increased over the over time of more people minting, getting those early C ranks. I'm getting approximately another 50% more Zen by the time my stakes mature, which uh, makes me super, uh, super happy at the moment, because especially with the price pumping, uh, especially with the price pumping the way it is, I think it's done about a 5x. Um, of course, it's pulled back a little bit. Let's do a measured move from the bottom. Yeah, about a 5x right now, still up about a 3 uh, almost a three and a half x if you bought in down the bottom down here now i'm a little bit sour for the simple fact that i was planning to buy down here and it's not i don't watch the chart every day okay i don't watch this chart every day because of course this is a long-term uh project right and um you know you, you're kind of waiting for the bottom to be in um i do expect that now we are seeing this move right um especially with the bull run on the horizon that people are going to start aping into this especially on a pullback right people are going to start accumulate accumulating this a little bit more um you've got things like the zen night um party or something like that um you know you've got a, it's, it's got a super bullish community basically like people are doing live streams they're they're burning zen it's just got a great community all right guys and you know many will say that this reminds them of the early days of hex or Shiba Inu, for example, right? And this is a super low in market cap. I don't believe that this is the accurate market cap. Okay, guys, um, if we zoom in, 32 million in market cap. I'm not sure if that is completely accurate. It says here it's fully diluted at 14 million. So I'm not sure what the actual market cap is for Zen. But, um, you know, in terms of what it could reach, this could reach in the billions. Only if we compare it with something like Hex. Okay, so Hex at its peak, of course, people would people are comparing this with Hex because of the nature of the token, all right, guys, and um, the decentralization of it, the founder, and all that sort of stuff. So Hex, at its peak, okay, went to I believe it was ninety. Okay, it says around eighty-two billion. I do remember it being a little bit more than that. I'm not sure, but coin market cap is not the best friend of Hex, <laughs> but um, eighty-two billion. Okay, 82 billion at its peak, even right now we're being recorded at 12 billion. Okay, guys, so with Zen sitting at a measly 32 million or 14 million, whichever one is correct, whether either of them, either of them are correct, I don't actually know. But you know, what are the potent? What is the potential to get a 10,000 x, maybe a thousand x, maybe even just a 500 x? I believe that it can dwarf that really, but um. Yeah, there's huge potential for this token with the community and everything that comes with it. Super bullish. Okay, guys. Uh, before we end the video, let's just go to the actual Zen minting page and have a look at all the chains that is on. If we go to the main page. Okay, guys. So you can see. Super busy. Super busy. I've minted on a bunch of chains. Um, there are some that I haven't minted on um like okay x moonbeam did i do it on i i might have done it on moonbeam as well uh you got a post chain testnet and the x1 devnet of course this is going to be the blockchain for zen okay so that's the x1 devnet that jack levin is building um super bullish guys okay super bullish and then we have the knights over here okay um, so you can bid Zen to win one of the 100 Zen Knight Bitcoin ordinals. So ordinals is a, I don't know too much about it. I know it's some sort of uh, NFT that, um, you know, is integrated with Bitcoin. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, uh, turning Bitcoin into a DeFi protocol, potentially. 
um, all of that sort of stuff. So you see like lots of Bitcoin projects taking off like stacks, for example. Um, that's a whole nother conversation, a whole nother video. But yeah, super bullish community. Um, yeah, I just thought I made that update. Um, I do need to be talking about Zen a lot more. I was talking about it a lot more in the beginning. But, um, you know, things got a bit boring with, you know, the whole downside. Okay, guys, these things happen in crypto. The downside, I think we're going to see a lot more influencers getting in on the action, talking about it. Now that it looks like we may have put in a potential bottom. Okay, guys, and Zen is trending all over the place. And, um, you know, it's on everybody's lips right now. And people are making gains. So, with that being said, this is the end of the video. Guys, let me know, are you holding Zen? Are you bullish on Zen? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. Tick the little bell for notifications. If you like the video, that helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you are a Zenian and you want to get people clicking on Zen videos, you need to be liking the videos, supporting the influencers, the content. And yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the very next video.